Hi guys, this is Ratchet Throw, and we are playing Wolf of Bulgars. We are gonna continue playing episode 3, and we are going to investigate Crane's apartment because that's what I choose to do in the last video. Okay, so let's go. I think he's got to be hiding something in there if, uh, if stuff on his business table. On the, on the table in the peace business office wasn't enough, so let's go in. Snow said Crane lives in 1903. Oh, 03, oh, I. Okay, okay, 03, and. Oh, the door is open. Not gonna call out, probably there's nobody here. Crane? One hour and 55 minutes left. Yeah, until he meets with the witch. Yeah, oh, you got you have your own Damn. statue here. Must have missed him. There's got to be something about his witch here. Okay, let's go. Okay, uh, what do we have here? Uh, desk, of course. Search the desk. Buddy. Crooked man. This is all I could get. I'm afraid Snow will start to notice. I'll have the rest for you next week. Ichabod Crane. What's going on here? Fiskate buddy. I'm not gonna take it for myself, but it's the evidence. I think he owed money to somebody. My dearest Snow, I know you must be aware of my feelings towards you. Watching you work, if I'm unable to control myself, it's because I love you. <sighs> oh, you was in love with Snow White. Oh, there's a key in here. Take it. Might be useful. Might be useful? Yeah, that's what I said. <laughs> oh, is there something hiding in the statue? There's always something. Oh, the head is missing. Okay, maybe I need to find it. Maybe it's some... Maybe it's some sort of uh, hidden room or something. Okay, let's hear the message. Crane. Look, the crooked man is not happy, compadre, and as much as I like making house calls, I have better ways to use my time. So, if you can go ahead and pay him by Friday, that would be great. Alright? Everybody can stay upright. In the meantime, Leave the light on, pal. See ya! This okay. hasn't been used in years. He owed some woman money. I forgot. He used to teach in the old days. Okay, so nothing to do with the investigation. Okay, let's, let's check out the wine cabinet now. Same brand we found in the open arms. Oh, okay. Forgot about that. He had a bottle with him in the room. Okay. Okay, maybe there's something between Math, books. science, history. I had to guess. This shit didn't work. Okay. What about the picture? I've never seen him that excited. Guess things have changed. Yeah, he smiles in a creepy way. I don't like it. Well, maybe I don't have much time to go. What were you supposed to be? If you are for what? The uh, children books? Okay, let me check. Okay, there's gotta be something to do with, uh, with the little statue head. Where the head is missing. Really? Ugh, why do you need that? Chest, nothing. Bedroom door, uh, open it. Locked. Damn it. Well, I have a key, maybe I can use it. Hey, stay where you are. <gasps> I, uh, Jack. Wow, it is just 
Unbelievable running into you here. I mean, of all the places. This weather, right? A little damp, I guess. But, you know, some people like that sort of thing. What are you doing here? Okay, okay, okay. I know what it looks like, but before you go jump into conclusions, Crane pays me to water his plants when he's gone. It's a stipend, but you know I need the work. I wouldn't do it for free, right? You know me. So, anyways, uh, now that I'm done... I don't see any plants. Hey! Oh, grab him! <laughs> grab him! Okay! You got me. Just take it easy. I don't like being lied to. Okay, okay. I heard Crane was leaving town. I figured he owed us little people a parting gift. Or just me a parting gift. You heard? I have my sources, okay? You see how he lives. He doesn't need any of this shit. A little Robin Hooding never hurt anyone, right? Have you heard anything about a witch? In connection with Crane? Maybe something about a ring? What are you getting at? What else do you want me to say? I got bills to pay. Not like Crane's gonna use any of this stuff. Are you working for Crane? And tell the truth. No, I'm not working for anybody. Just take it easy. <sighs> you know, this tortured, lonely pig eater bit's gonna get old eventually. Don't you get tired of it? I mean, what are you even doing here? Are you just wandering around Crane's apartment? I'm trying to find Crane's witch. He's supposed to be heading there. Crane's witch? Is that why he took off? Who the fuck cares about any of that? I mean, don't you think, oh, I don't know, solving these murderers should be your top priority? I have reason to believe Crane might be the murderer. Give me a fucking break. Ichabod Crane? I mean, the guy's clenched tighter than a, you know, than a... Well, I'm having difficulty coming up with something appropriately tight right now, but you get what doesn't I'm... doesn't matter if you believe it or not. I have evidence that places him at the scene of the crime, so I'm bringing him in. Okay, fine. You know what's best. Well, looks like you've got it covered. Anyway, it was really nice catching up with you. I mean that. Bigby, I believe you're, uh, blocking the doorway there. If I could just, uh squeeze through you know on second thought it's actually funny I ran into you like this I think I can help you out what do you mean if you're looking for Crane's witch well I just happen to know who she is if you're interested information comes at a price though how convenient convenient for you sheriff I got the info you need this is an easy win Let's make ourselves a deal. I tell you about Crane's witch, and you forget you saw me here. One hand washes the other sort of thing. Wipe the whole incident under the rug. Come on, what do you say? Oh, this is not a negotiation, Jack. This isn't a fucking boxing match either. <clears throat> How about this? I'll tell you what I know. Then you can reconsider my offer. Hmm? Her name is Auntie Greenleaf. Crane's been trying to keep it under wraps for years. I'm not sure what kind of a deal he's made with her, but from what I hear, he's in pretty regular contact. How reliable is this information? Are you sure you have the right name? Absolutely, without a doubt. Uh, th the thing is, I don't know where you'd find her, exactly. You gotta be fucking kidding me. But even a name is a good start, right? I mean, that's more than what you came in with. Right. I'll keep my eyes open for you. If I find anything else you might be interested in, I'll be sure to let you know. Well, uh, I think you've got plenty to keep you busy. So, I'll, uh... <sighs> it was just lovely running into you, baby. Hang on a second. Oh, come on! Yeah, let me check your back first, before you go. Oh, glamour tube. My dear. Do you always talk to yourself like that? The witch uses the white deer on everything. It's her symbol or trademark, I guess. 
Figured I could sell these at the Lucky Pawn. The Lucky Pawn? It's one of the Crooked Man's places. I work there sometimes. When I need some stability. It's a pawn shop. Get it? Yeah, yeah. You find any more of these? Uh, no. You nervous about something? What do you mean? Look me in the eye and tell me you didn't steal anything else. Come on, Jack. Is that it? Take me? Are you still here? We're in here, Snow. We? Who else is... What's he doing here? Evening, Miss White. Good evening. What's going on? Our friend Jack was caught stealing. Oh, come on! Is that right? But he did have some information about Crane's witch. Oh, what did you find out? Her name is Greenleaf. Auntie Greenleaf. But he doesn't know where we can find her. Great. Crane's meeting her at 2 a.m. And Snow, I found a note with some money attached. Crane has been embezzling from Fable Town. Of course, because why half-ass being a complete sleazeball? Do you think this is tied to the murders? I mean, I guess it doesn't matter yet. We still have to find him. Right now, I honestly don't care. I just want to get the fucking guy. Crane's meeting Greenleaf at 2 a.m. And we have no idea where she is. We're going to cut it close as it is. We have to figure out where he's meeting her. I'll figure it out. You should try Holly's. She still has all of Lily's things. If she hasn't burned it already. There's still Tweedledee's place. We know they're involved. And we know that's where Bluebeard went. Where do you want to go? We don't have much time. Oh. Oh, oh. Again. I have to choose. Well, I thought it was going to be one place investigating and leaving the other two. Okay. Hmm. I don't know if D and Dom know something about witches, so I think... No, I don't think they know anything. I'm gonna go for the trip trap. I'll go to the trip trap, see about Lily's things. I think that's our best option. Sounds good. I'll give Buffkin the name and hope he finds something in the records. Let me know what he comes up with. I'll be in touch. I hope you'll do the same. We'll catch him, Snow. Hang on, Jack. I want to talk to you. One am. Oh, I have 45 minutes left. <laughs> She's asleep, you fucking idiot. You didn't even give me a chance to explain. Gee, Read why the sign. Why are you kicking it? Guys, it's me, Bigby. Look, Woody, it's the sheriff. Okay, okay, before you get all huffy, it, it was Snow who let me go, all right? It just, there was no sense in me staying in jail. She, she said so herself. Don't soil yourself, Woody. I'm sure he understands. Luckily for you, I don't have the time to get pissed off about this right now. Well, come on in, buddy. Friend. What? He's a traveler. A weary traveler in search of some hospitality, right? Yeah. I'll only be here two minutes. I just need to check through Lily's things. <laughs> Whatever. Just let me in. I want a drink. Anybody else want a drink? Friend, Swinehart said you shouldn't mix you it You think I give a fuck what that fucking guy says? Or what you say? Friend, really, you, you shouldn't drink right now. Have you seen Lily's things? What wasn't burned at the funeral? Um, is that stuff supposed to be here, or...? 
Nope, haven't seen it. Holly's asleep in back, but you won't be able to wake her. Really? The doc gave him both barmesidal ambrosia for the pain. Look, the deal is, if you resist going to sleep, like I am right now, it gives you a very, very, very nice high. And he said that he shouldn't mix it with alcohol. Yes, he did. He certainly did. But let me tell you something. I haven't felt this good in a long time, fat boy. I'm after Crane, all right? The guy we all hate? And there's a time limit here, so try and focus for a minute. Crane? We'll get to whatever you're here for in a sec. That funeral back there? That was a shitty fucking send-off for a pretty okay lady. Yeah. You weren't fucking there. I'm talking to Bigby now, okay? Can't say you being there helped things much. Gren. Don't start nothing. Who's starting anything? You think I shot up the place? It wasn't my fault. They got away though, didn't they? Whatever. It's all right. I'm too out of it to get into it. I want to clear the air. We're all in this dung heap of a fucking shit town together. We're all gonna have a toast. All of us. Fellas, I'm here for one thing. Look through Lily's belongings and get out of here. Now, yeah, right? yeah, I know, I know. And I want to help you, okay? And I will. But first, indulge me. It'll take two seconds. As a show of good faith. And after, we'll all hunt and peck for Lily's shit or whatever. Grand Bigby didn't come here to get loaded with you. I don't want to get loaded with him. I'm running out of time, Gren. Gren, the doc said you needed to rest. How many times you fucking gonna warn me about it, huh? You're not my fucking mother, so just get off my back! I said I was sorry, alright? I can't do anything about it, it's done! Oh my god. Uh, we'll separate. What more do you want? What else can I fucking say here? Cut this shit out now, I don't care what it's about. Oh wait, I forgot. It's great you're here, since you were the one who told us about it in the first place. This walking lard cake was paying Holly's sister to let him fuck her behind all of our backs. And none of it would have come out if Bigby hadn't have said nothing. Give me a break, like it's his fucking fault. She liked me, okay? There wasn't anything wrong with it. Oh, she liked him. All right, well that changes everything. You know what? Fuck this. I don't need this shit. Oh yeah, that's it. Now you're teary-eyed. You were always such a low life. I don't know why I never realized it till now. What do you think about this fucking loser, Sheriff? He can think whatever he wants. I don't give a shit. I think whatever happened was between them. And Lily is dead. So let's put this whole thing to rest, Grant. Can I investigate her stuff now? Well, that's what I came here to do. Gren. I don't know where Lily's shit is. <sighs> Check Holly's room, I don't know. But I wouldn't wake her if I were you. Sleepwalkers and trolls. I think that's the role. Thanks for that. Actually, Big B, if you'll excuse me, it seems that I'm gonna pass out. What a day. Am I right, Sheriff? What a fucking day. Ah, uh, whatever. He's not gonna remember what I said. Maybe it's what he drank. I think I didn't drink anything. I'm glad she's alive. Okay, let's see. Uh, bottles? Uh... No, I'm not gonna do anything with whole Holly. Uh, oh, come on, is there something in here? Great 
of alcohol. I don't know, should I, should I wake her up? I don't know. Maybe I shouldn't. Oh, there's something in here. Or is that what we picked up and she took it? Take it, take it, take it, take it. Take it now that she moved her hand. Oh, there is something. <sighs> that you, Woody? I guess. Well, let me first check what do you have here. That's fate. Did you care about her at all? She was a nice girl. Ran around too much. Of course I cared. Uh, I still care. I hope so. I hope you do. Okay, okay. Uh, a glamour tube. Wait, the symbol is the same as on the ring. Do I, I don't anything? know why you fucking came here. There's nothing left for you to ruin. And I'm not in an entertaining mood. I'm sorry, Holly. I'm sorry for what happened. I'll make it up to you. Ah, uh, sure you will, kid. When the rivers turn coarse and the sky bleeds fucking gypsies. Okay, can I get back? Let me check the book. Lily's funeral. It was just so fucked tonight. But I still wish you could have been there. I just don't know what Bigby's doing. If he if he cares about it. If he even gives a shit. I don't know. I don't know why he showed up. He cares about this. About Lily. About Faith. I know he does. You think so? Yeah. Well, you know him better than anybody, so... Uh, I guess I'll take your word for it. Oh. Well, Grant's not going to pick it up, so... If you were getting your glamour on this day, then one of these has to be the witch. Anti green leaf. Gotcha. Hello, this is Snow White calling. I'm looking for Bigby. Is anyone there? Bigby, if you're there, pick up, okay? Pick it up, pick it up. Snow? Oh, thank God. Tell me you found something. I got it, Snow. Her address was here with Lily's things. It's on uh, White Plains Avenue, 1284. It's an apartment complex. Great. Let's get going. All right, let's go. I don't want to miss him. I'll meet you there. All right, I'll see you there. Yep. Let's go. Big B! I just got here. Yeah, me too. It's number 23. I haven't seen it yet. We're late. Yeah, I know. Damn it. This is it. All right. Slate. How do you want to do this? Uh, let's first listen. Hear anything? If anyone's in there, they're being awfully quiet. Uh, I'm not gonna knock, kick it. 
Wait, 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 wait. What are you doing? What does it look like? Don't just kick it in. We don't know what's on the other side. Let's just save the last resort for last. Fine, okay. What would you have me do instead? I don't know. Knock? I mean, we have no idea what's behind this. <clears throat> Hello? Hello? Hi. You woke me up. Uh, sorry about that. Is something wrong? Well, pardon the intrusion. I wasn't aware this was a munchkin's house. Well, Dorothy, it isn't. <laughs> Sharp kid. <laughs> who are you? Rachel, who are you? Just so... We're not strangers. I'm Bigby. This is Snow. Pleased to meet you. How do you do? Is there, um, is there anything you need? Is Auntie Greenleaf at home? Does she live here? You mean my mom? She ever, you know, make the nightstand levitate, turn frogs into cats, that kind of thing? Is she a witch, dear? No, I would never call my mommy that. She treats me all right. Is there something you want? I don't think I can really help you. Snow, can you just do something here? I, I never have any idea what to say to these people. You mean children? <sighs> do you mind if my friend here takes a look around? I promise we'll be quick so you can hurry back to bed. Oh my. I've been here all night. Nobody's been here. Say so. Okay, Snow, I'm gonna trust your friend not to break anything. Don't get me in trouble. Look for anything unusual. Yeah, like Crane. He could still be here. Well, does he know I'm here? Uh, record player? Let me guess. Big band or classical? Honky tonk. No accounting for taste. That your mom? Uh huh. Your mom a hunter? Oh no, she never. That was found in the woods around Dick's Mountain, I think. Deer here, deer there. That's it's all about deer. Pretty rare to see a burner like this. <sighs> Dowdy. That's how we like it. Okay. What else? Oh, tree. Is somebody hiding behind? Nope. What is this? Mommy uses that to carve her trinkets. It's from the old world. Trinkets? Um, like glamours? Not here. There's no one here but me. Or maybe you just... Maybe you were told to say that. Uh... What else? Where do you buy your clothes? At a store? Oh. My mommy makes all of mine. Oh, closet. Of course. Oh. The Butcher. What's that? A package. Having to do with someone called the Butcher. It's empty. Nothing that looks like Crane was here either. Nothing? See? Oh, come on. Is there something in here? Uh, uh. I saw a spider over there. God damn it. I shouldn't say that. Nothing. I keep getting whiffs of that aftershave of his. I do too. Can I go to bed now, please? Okay, go. Oh! Is that a glamour tube? Mommy really doesn't let anyone play with that. Trust me, I've tried. Okay, let's check it out. 
Oh, no, 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 no. Please, 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 just put that back exactly where you found it. No one is allowed to play with it's that. It's all right, honey. Bigby's not going to break no, it. You don't understand. She will freak out if she discovers I've let people in here and let them touch her stuff, okay? She checks all the time to see if things move. I don't want to get in trouble. I'm not going to break it. I just want to open it. No! Put it down! Please, don't! This isn't what you think! You gotta believe me! The guy isn't here, I promise! It's gonna be okay, Rachel. Please, I'm begging you. I don't wanna... I don't wanna get in trouble. Oh, God. <laughs> Anti-green leaf. It hurts when you do it that fast. What? You think we have time to waste on this shit? You think this is some kind of game? No, I don't. But congratulations on winning it, if that matters to you. All right, start explaining. And from the beginning. Where's Crane? Speak quickly. I ain't a fortune teller, Wolf. I have no heavenly idea where he went to. You have to know something. Unless you want a recipe for owl stew. There's nothing I know that would help. Just why in the name of everything holy are you protecting this weaselly scumbag? I mean, what on earth could he have done to deserve this kind of loyalty? Crane could be hollow bones tomorrow, and you wouldn't see me cry a drop. But that doesn't mean I can tell you anything. You have friends, don't you? Well, I don't want Crane's friends for enemies. If you're not protecting Crane, who are you protecting? Get this through both of your skulls. I can't tell you. Just you being here is bad enough. There's powers at work here beyond your pathetic authority. Whatever it is, Greenleaf, whatever it is that's keeping you from saying something... We can protect you, okay? Whatever it is you're afraid of, we can make sure that it won't come to pass. You have no idea what's going on, do you? Okay, you know what I think? I think we've been more than patient with you. This witch has been selling illegal glamours that continue to undermine everything we've built. She's harboring a fugitive that took advantage of it, and now she's resisting every attempt to make things right. I frankly don't give a crap. If she's afraid for her life, we can at least make sure she never hurts us again. We're destroying the tree. No! Well, how dare dare you come in here and threaten to take from me the one thing that... That tree is ancient. It's part of the family, and it's the only thing paying for this shithole apartment. And the fables who can't afford the glamours from you come to me for help. Without them, where do you think they could Don't go? Don't give me that. You're making money off of other people's misery. Two fables are dead because of this crap. It's too dangerous leaving this stuff with her. You think I like being the old woman in these stories? The men are heroes, the ladies are whores, and the old hags like me get to watch everyone they love die. We have very different ways of handling our fate. Very different means to handle it, too. And I don't use it as an excuse uh. to wreck people's lives. I'm sorry, Sheriff, but please, don't do this. Only <laughs> Snow's right. The tree has to go. No! Look, look, I'll tell you, I'll tell you. Crane was here. He was here, and he left. He went to the Pudding and Pie to try to use my ring on the girls over there to get information. What does the ring do? He thinks it's the Ring of Dispel. You know, that it will pierce the protection around the girl's speech. He says pulling the truth out of them will prove his innocence. It won't, though. Damn thing lost its power decades ago. Just please, you can catch him if you leave, okay? Just leave, and don't... Don't burn my tree. I'm begging you. I'm begging you. All right, Don't destroy I, I it, do it, please. No. Okay. That wasn't so hard, was it? That's it? She's off the hook? Come on. We have to get to Crane while he's still there. Hey, Greenleaf. Don't think this is over. I won't.
Okay, and I'm gonna end this video here. I'm already recording over 30 minutes. Yeah, I'm not recording 45 minutes like I did the last part of uh, the first episode. I'm gonna record for 30 minutes, so maybe we're more. But alright, we're gonna continue in the next video. So, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like this video, and I'll see you again. Goodbye!